a club of all Koshuk onion coming up a fast fat in the hoonia. Channel for Kroy, a Vestonia, a late Bathy Lindsay, Agus and Hopi can serve Holloch Ela at Giano, a hat cool of shin. Agus and Nunia, a Vesa Tatar Shahat, a son of club. We started in 2014. Um, it started with a after school football class at, at the old Cumnock Academy. Um, that started through Cumnock Juniors Community Enterprise. And it was uh, through Scott Guy at the SFA that ran that class. But he quickly and he realised that there was, well, girls were what he played football in the area. So my niece was in the team um, and he was looking for coaches. And I had been coaching at a different club, uh, but didn't he? didn't really last that long and he'd said to my sister would your sister be interested in uh, coaching this wee team and I'd say die and that was how it really started. I always wondered why there wasn't any girls teams when I was younger um, and I always remember my coach at primary school he was a, an older gentleman he was really really good and I thought you know when I got into my 20s and my niece was growing up I always just thought, what well, you know, somebody needs to do something. Somebody needs to, especially in this area, take step up and, and be a coach. And really, I did not have a clue how to go about it. So when the the school class started, it was a perfect opportunity to just start that single team, which led to a full club, which really for me was unexpected, but it happened. The aim was to just bring girls football into the area because there's nothing eh, within a 20 mile radius, really. Well, maybe that's a wee bit of exaggeration, but 15 mile radius at least. Um, there's no girls clubs in this area at all. So it was a, it was really important to bring, you know, football for them because you could feel it was a need. Well, my niece couldn't get a team anywhere. She had to travel to, to air to play. And when I was younger, I had to travel to Kamarnak. Hannah Hadevan is sheer ass. A kilhuk bilvadi is skippy and ura a horsehuk. Her sons could be corum, I can achieve her by inertia. So, right at this moment, we've got from like, under eights right up to senior uh, ladies team. We've just started a ladies team this year. We've entered into the SWFL. Um, but all the age groups, we're missing an under 18s, but we're, we're established team that we first started with are now under 16. So they're hopefully going to move up to the under 18s and, and fill that, that gap. But uh, the full player pathway is already there for the club. One of the reasons that, um, well, we trained at a, a different facility before when there was only two teams and we trained at the same time. And when you know, I was bringing new teams on board, I felt that we had to stick together and we had to all be here. Um, majority to see that player pathway and to see, you know, OK, if when I get older, I'm going to play for the ladies one day. So that was really the aim, you know, for the kids to have a wee bit of ambition by seeing their sisters and their aunties and everybody else playing. She pal Kosha and Ruth are the association of Bodhan the Hawker and the Stoklani and the Sharkola. A Kafizik Vati is the Napoleon and the Ela had she and both skip the spars. And club is on a yay, Fata Ivara. Oh, there is. There is a whole lot more than that. We are not just a football club, we're a family. You know, it's a... Uh, it's a strange feeling to you know be involved in. It gets it gets me emotional. Um, the amount of girls, especially since COVID, that we've had, is is just incredible. I think they see how popular it is in their classes in school. The the girls talk about it all the time. They can't wait to play games at the weekend. It's just made such an impact, not just for the kids but the parents as well. You can see standing around, the parents want to come down and just basically watch. So well, I it's just it's a great social. Uh, facility that we've got here and it's not just about playing football um, yeah we want to create the next you know Erin Cuthberts and all the rest but it's more than that Her doing is more than an upper crew I can barely have a shape in a plane here so in dark years I do a ball caution and ban I can't even get a hack as 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 I can't even get a hack when I first found out I was obviously a wee bit in shock um, I didn't really think that, you know, something for, for this area would be an option for a club like ours, but it was it was a great feeling. It was a great feeling for the girls, not just for me. It was a bit of recognition for the full club. Well, it was Rose Riley that uh, gave me my uh, award, so even just getting to speak to her, that, that was a that was great. She's a lovely lady and an inspiration to everybody that plays in football. Han do a shot at Mishnach, a horse to Vadi, because he ain't a book, Agus and Club at a Leatherhook. 
I don't know the moment in the narrow a good to get Giano or something Yannan. I think you can become quite complacent complacent when um, you've got a club and things are ticking over, but you always feel right. We need to keep going. We need to keep achieving more. And um, for me, it's about bringing even younger girls into football now. You see boys playing in their three and four and five, um, and our community enterprise does have uh, like many kickers classes, but there's none just for dedicated girls. Um, that kind of starts at primary one to three. So really, we want to go even lower and get them in from a really, really young age. Player retention is huge, especially the older the girls get. Um, so for me, it's about creating a really positive atmosphere to keep the girls. We want girls to learn how to play football at coming up, but we also want them to stay and play football right through to adulthood. Havadi agus me kochi chinele e de dua vis a kolonak mar ha kola vi kamnak. A ka stata te ke shin. Fame to sul a humala mak er son in club show. Well, we're hoping that, to be honest with you, I'd love to double the numbers. If we can get over 200 girls in this area and beyond playing football, I think that would be a, an a, amazing achievement. Um, getting an under-18s team together and also just progressing through the ranks as well. You know, especially within the ladies team, we're obviously just started, but we want to keep achieving. We want to bring good players into the squad and we want to just keep powering through and making sure you know, come that's attractive to everybody and that's really what the goal is. I, I'd say to any young girl that wants to play football, if you don't try it, you'll never know. Um, you know, we've got boots here, we've got goalie gloves, we've got everything that you could possibly need. You don't need to spend any money to come here and even give it a shot. So I'd say give it a try and you never know, you might just be the next Aaron Cuthbert.